All right. Well, welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Let's talk to this lady. Turn this up a little bit. Somehow I find that unlikely. Now, one thing I really noticed the second and third time around is the sheer amount of detail a lot of the characters were given. Even minor NPC characters that you talk around town. The amount of detail that they put into Wind Waker is far exceeds that that they put into the other two. I have mixed feelings about that. I really like the amount of effort they put into this game, but I'm sure that they must have known that, well, I don't know if they knew at the time, though I would have seen this coming. The Wind Waker was released for GameCube, which I'm sure they must have known by now was a failing system. As such, I wish they kind of could have waited it out on this project until the Nintendo Wii came out, but that never happened, so... That kind of sucks. <laughs> A telescope, really? To be perfectly honest, I don't remember ever really liking this item. Mostly because the controls are kind of wonky with this, and I never really found any part of the game that really, where the telescope could really be used to help you. Oh look, a huge bird that has an evil expression on his face, and he's holding someone in his claws. And a sh pirate ship is shooting stuff. What is going on here? Yeah, way to just stand there and get hit, buddy. Oh well. Okay, question time. If there's really a place on the island that is so dangerous you need a weapon to survive with. Why the heck don't people know how to use a sword? Seriously, this is not very complicated. Dangerous area, teach people how to defend themselves. What is wrong with this village? It's like they lack any common sense at all. Except for maybe Link and Orca, but that's about it. Jeez. 
Alright. Let's talk to Orca about the situation and see what the best solution is. Yes, I do. Yep. I'm gonna need it if I'm gonna be going into a place with lots of monsters. Oh no, it's the same stuff. Oh crap. If I would have known that. And here's this again. Oh, I did it that time. Oh, well, this is different, at least. Ah, well, if you weren't standing so close to me. Okay, so you gotta aim away from him for this. No, it's not. This is actually the easiest thing in the game to pull off. They give you plenty of time to press A when that happens. This is also pretty simple. So it's a living weapon, good to know. You know, you're saying a different tune now. Whatever. I got a cool weapon. Though, just looking at the way the weapon looks, it doesn't really look like a sword, it looks more like a very large dagger. But whatever, it's still awesome. And really the fact that he's using a very large dagger to destroy the forces of evil just makes him that much more awesome. Now that I've got a weapon, I can do stuff. Like slash at bushes. And the lady doesn't have a, a barrel. Not a barrel, but a jar in her head. Yeah, I've already shown that off. Now they have a sword, I can slash through these and get this. Cause rubies are awesome. And now I no longer have to pick up jars to get their contents. I can also do this. These pigs pretty much replace cuckoos in this game, which were chickens before, and other pigs. Now, you may think it's fun in games to just... Darn it. Darn it, this, this, this guy is kind of hard to hit, actually. You may think it's fun in games to just... Okay, I'm getting a little annoyed now. Jeez, it's gonna take the whole video just to show this off. Come on, get out of the water. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't remember it being quite this hard before. There we go. If you hit enough times, it will get pissed off and chase after you. Much like an army of Cocos would do in previous Zelda games. And I can't believe it took me about three minutes to show that off. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Back to what I was going to do. Actually, there's one last thing I want to show off. Now, unlike other previous games, you could swim in the water all you wanted, and uh, you nothing would happen. In this game, Link apparently has very poor stamina and gets tired really easily, and will drown if he stays in water too long. This can get annoying later. However, if you go over here and go inside this boat, there's a shop here with a very stereotypical merchant. Oh well. Hmm. Now, the bait and pears are kind of useful if you're trying to unlock everything in the game. Otherwise, it's not worth it. And since I doubt I'm going to be bothering much with a bunch of the side stuff, I doubt I will be needing one. And you can step on crabs, for some reason. Oh yeah, that's one another thing I forgot to show off. If you hold down L, you can lock the camera in place so you can move left and right. Admittedly, I never found this very useful, but you can do it if you want. Now we can continue on. And of course, like other Zelda games, you can cut down grass to find valuables and whatnot, if you're feeling bored. Overall though, you don't really need to resort to that. Die, stupid sign, telling me what I can and can't do. And I will be cutting grass whenever it's available. Just because I like having lots of money. Don't kid yourself, though. Um, it doesn't happen very often. Also, if you want to do a quick spin attack, do a 360 spin with the joystick and then quickly press B. Let's see if I can do it again. There we go. Very helpful. I can't do this till much later in the game. But fairy fountains, like other Zelda games, are very useful. Visit them whenever you can. However, that is where I need to go. However, if you go over here, you can climb to the very top of the island. You can't really do anything for a while here, but um, I'm going to keep that in mind for later.
You can also cut down trees, but I don't think you can get goodies that way. I could be wrong, though. And there she is, okay. I'm not going to cut any more grass for now, because that's taking too long. And there's way too much of it here. What's that? Ooh, it looks like a bad guy. But he's easily taken care of, so... Oh, a single ruby cheapskate. Aha! I see rubies. Lots of rubies. I remember there being another log over here somewhere. Where was it? Get out of my way. There we go. Oh, I can't crawl under that one, I don't think. Nope. Dead blame it. Whoa, crap. Then I guess we just proceed to the other end of this area. And I can't do anything with that till later. Hmm, interesting. But right now, we need to worry about saving that girl. Ah, crap. Uh, that wasn't too bad. You're welcome, you selfish jerk.
Okay, well, things could be better. Still, at least we have a clear destination. Yes, it is. However, I have overstayed my welcome on this video, so I'll save this for next time.